one of the main themes of the second half of this season is is charting just how very, very angry players are against the referees. That's the theme of the year, I think. 2023, 2022, 2023, the year of I hate refs. The year of refs done fucked up. The year of do we need to take this to robo ref. The year of let's call out refs by name. The year of do we need to be fining refs uh, and looking into their bank accounts to see if they're betting on games. It reached a tipping point, of course, when Fred Van Fleet called out Ben Taylor by name, saying that he was terrible. It then went to a new place when uh, Mark Dagno called out refs, Donovan Mitchell called out refs, Marcus Smart called out refs. The league, obviously, ref problem. The latest now to weigh in, and I'm starting to come around on him, is uh, Rudy Gobzilla Gobert. The best nickname. After um, a very sketchy night of, of refereeing where the Wolves lost to the Suns, if you saw it, it looked uh, very one-sided. He unloaded after the game. He said, it's not fair. It's really not fair every night. I've been in this league for 10 years, and I always try to give the benefit of the doubt. But it's uh, hard for me to think they're not trying to help the Suns win tonight. It's hard for me to think they didn't try to help the Warriors win the other night or Sacramento the other night. It's just so obvious. A basketball player that's been in the league for this long, it's disrespectful. It's almost like Rudy Gobert believes that the NBA does not want a small market team like the Minnesota Timberwolves in the playoffs, and they would prefer teams like Sacramento, nice feel-good story, Phoenix Suns with Kevin Durant, L.A. Lakers with Anthony Davis, Warriors with Steph Curry, to be in over them. Yeah, I think that's probably true. This also came on top of a rant earlier this month where he told The Athletic, yeah, I get hit in the face every night, and uh, no one ever gets a flagrant called on them. It's crazy. No, it's not crazy because Rudy Gobert got called for five fouls, four of them on the offensive side, which helped the Suns overcome a 10-point-plus deficit and then win a game in a, as we said, a very, very tight Western Conference. And he laid it all out on the line at the end of the press conference. He said, we understand we're not the biggest of markets, and we're a team that I think you want to see Kevin Durant in the playoffs, Steph Curry in the playoffs. You want to see LeBron James in the playoffs. The Timberwolves are just not there yet. How many players are going to have to say something before the league does something? The answer might not be what we want it to be because Gobert and Fred Van Fleet are right. The league maybe does want big market teams in the playoffs that are not named the Toronto Raptors and the Minnesota Timberwolves at the expense of them. Stranger things have happened, but I think that's probably right.